Hey everybody, this is Tambiota back with another third party Transformers video review. This time I have Fans Project WB05 and WB06, Revolver Core and Riftshot Core. Uh, as of right now, these guys uh, were exclusive to the uh, Fans Project Core uh, website, and the only way that you could have, or the only way that you could buy them was to actually order them off their website. I know that right now they're actually sold out. I don't know if they're going to be doing a second run or if they're going to be actually doing a general release to like TF Source or any of those other websites. But as you can see, we have them in their box, uh, in the normal Fans Project War, uh, Warbot boxes. They have the clear kind of boxes on the outside and then uh, the regular cardboard paper boxes on the inside. And as you can see through the windows, you can see both of the figures in their robot modes and then some pictures of them right here. And if we turn them, you can actually see um, that there are some inserts that they added. This is actually an insert for Revolver Core, so you can take all these little inserts and, and put them in the different the different Warbots, um, 4, 5, and 6, and it'll actually make a, a mosaic picture. So let me, let me go ahead and finish going around. But you can see um, Revolver Core is right here. And so let me pull this out real quick. And see, it's just a little insert that's on here. See, and then here I have Revolver Core's box. So you can take this, and you can just insert it onto this side right here. You know, it covers up this little piece of the window or, or whichever side you want to put it on. And then... Whenever you flip them around this way, actually these boxes have to be turned like that. Then you get this large picture right here. So that's that's kind of cool, <clears throat> but it does cover up the the little pictures that are that are in underneath here. But oh well. Um, so, flip these back around, and then going to the back, you can see them, uh, recoiler and rift shot in their their robot modes with their add-on pieces, and then you can see them in their various with their various team members. You can see the various team members in the background, and you can see them with their upgrade pieces on them. <clears throat> and then on the side, you have these uh, little panels here. Let me see if I can pull these out real quick so you can see the, the pictures of everything underneath it. You can see it's just the, the Warbot logo right here, and then this picture that's right here on the, on the side also in a smaller scale. And then for rift shot, ah, see the same thing. You have the Warbot logo up here, and then um, the same picture that's right here on the side. So, Alright, so that's their that's their boxes in kind of a nutshell. Let's go ahead and get these guys open and check them out. Alright, and here is Recoiler and Riftshot out of the box and in their vehicle modes. So you can see them uh, in their vehicle modes with their core drivers. So here is um, a Recoiler's core driver. And here is Riftshot's core driver, and you can, you can see they're both different colored greens, and then they have uh, actually different head sculpts too. Uh, it actually looks like, yeah, they have different leg sculpts. The arm sculpts are different. I think the only thing that is probably the same is this little middle or the middle parts right here, the little black parts. 
and this these parts right here, probably. But everything else had been uh, re-sculpted for these guys, so. And, you know, like before, you can just slide them in the driver's seats. Just like that, and then they can drive, <laughs> they can drive their, uh, uh, their cars. And so inside the boxes, they also come with um, some extra parts. So Recoiler comes with these pieces. In the vehicle mode, they make a, um, a kind of a kind of a shield that goes over this part right here. And then they make uh, boots for for robot mode. And then he also comes with uh, this gun right here. So. And then Rift Shot, he comes with uh, hood armor. Or more like they go right here. They're more like um, not bumpers, but they're more like fenders. So they, they go right here and they um, add some armor elements and then they also become fists in robot mode. And then he comes with uh, these two pipes and then these missile pods that actually can turn into, if you take all those and put them together, they can turn into a, a big hammer. So then they also come with their instruction booklets. So Recoiler's instruction booklets, they're a little bit different. If you look at it right here and you open this up, you can see there's a... Um, like comic book covers of each of the guys uh, but for some reason it says 5a and 5b still so but this this should actually say six right here mm, I don't know so this one is uh, uh, of recoiler and this one is of rift shot and then it gets into the normal instructions these are these are the same exact instructions that came with uh, that came with revolver so you know, it has the same exact thing and then like like the other instructions it has a big picture of all the war bots here together and then the instructions for a uh, rift shot are a little bit different they don't actually have they start straight in with the instructions they don't actually have uh, the comic book covers so it goes straight into the the instructions and then you get to here and you have that picture and then you flip here and then it's like you get the this like kind of sneak preview of uh, I guess what's going to be the next Warbot and it says the Three Kings but if you notice over here it says Warbot 06 Warbot 06 so I don't know maybe that's a typo maybe it's supposed to be Warbot 7 um, they've actually shown this in some other um, some of the Transformers news sites and some people thought it was fake but it's actually inside the instructions so it's not it's not fake so. alright so now to add the pieces to the um, to the vehicle mode so what you want to do is take you're supposed to take this and have it kinda like that but I don't like doing that I like just forcing it down so that it holds the driver in and then you take the two hood parts and you combine them together with these two tabs. Tab, there's a hole, tab, and a hole. And those lock kind of together like that. And then as you can see, uh, just like a revolver core, they do have their uh, their pistol bumpers. So you do get end up getting the pistols. And then if you look at the so if you look at the bottom here, you're going to see these two tabs, and then you're going to see these two tabs right here, and then there's something right here. It's supposed to line up with this, but I just pushed it down so it's not going to line up with it. So you can take these two tabs, tab them in right here. Yeah, I forgot you got to push this, that down. Right, so let me leave them like that and try to put it on there how it's supposed to be placed on there with this right here. And it's the, the back part of the seat right here is supposed to go in between here. So let's see if I can line this thing up. Basically what I do whenever I start is I just line up the front part so this these two tabs are gonna go in here these two pieces are gonna kind of slide into here the little part that's did it out and then also something that you can also do is you can pull this kind of back a little bit and it'll extend this portion and it kind of makes it a little bit easier because this clip is gonna go around um, this portion right here of the back So. down that's what's hindering me okay, 
that, that. Okay, so that's locked into place now. And then you're going to come back here. And then there's these two slots. And then there's these two holes over here. So you just want to kind of push those in. And eventually they'll kind of lock into place. Slide that in. And basically all those tabs do, they keep them from moving in and out. So that's basically it right there. And then you can take this gun right here and you can put it anywhere. You can put it right here. You can put it off to the side right here. So let's just go ahead and tab it in right here. The armor for revolver core on his vehicle mode is on now. And, and just like before, these treads, they don't move. So the, the mold has not changed at all. It is just molded in different colors. So to get these fenders on, you're going to take and you'll notice that there's a little a peg right here. There's a little hole right in right in here underneath the fender. And then there's a peg right here on the on the little orange piece right here and there's a little slot right here. So the best way to do this is to actually take move that up just a little bit like that. And then oh yeah. There's a this little part that's the sight for the gun. It ends up going into here right here this little hole right here. So Line all that up. Flip that down. There it goes. Alright, so that's on. And then put the thumb on the fender right there. And then we'll do the same for this side. the thumb down onto the fender and then you have those and then it doesn't really show kind of what to do you can take these right here and you can um, chose for ultimate mode that you can store them down here but you could always use them as like kind of cannons or something you could put them up here you can always put the launchers up here Take the launchers, put those up here, um, and then you could just store these down here. I'll do that later. I'll, I'll show you later in the other one. They're kind of hard to pull off. But here's revolver and rip shot in their vehicle modes with their add-on pieces on. All right, now give me a second. Allow me to get them into robot mode. I'm not going to show how to how to transform these guys into robot mode because I already have a video to show how to transform them into their robot mode. So if you'd like to see that, just uh, check out the revolver core video, and that will uh, give you detailed instructions on how to how to transform these guys into their robot modes. So let me quickly get them over to their robot modes. All right, and here I have recoiler and rift shot in their robot modes, and then a couple things there articulation and everything is all the same as revolver as some of you may know by looking at my my video of revolver I, I had a I guess I got a, a very bad uh, quality controlled figure I didn't have as many problems with this one um, some of them are still a little loose but they're not as bad as my other one where I could just go like that and the arms would flop so you know I, I still wish that these would have been that the these uh, ankle joints would have been on on a ratcheting hinge or something else but you know, it's it's all right so for recoiler for his add-on pieces you have this hood so we're just going to take that and these are actually going to become boots so you'll take one piece go like that and then there's a tab that tabs into here whenever you lower down this part see there's a tab right there that tabs into this portion right here just go like that move this forward Take this, fold this up, take this part, flip it up. So that makes one boot. Flip this forward, flip this up, flip this up. All right, and now what you want to do is you want to take 
You can see these two little notches right here on the foot. There are two little notches right here and a peg right there. You see the two, the peg, the round peg, and then the two um, square tabs. So the square tabs will go in here and the hole will go right here. So you just kind of fiddle with it a little bit. It doesn't really... There we go, right? I think that's it right there. They don't really lock into place. So that goes like that, and then this will this will tab into here into the knee. Okay, like that, and then this uh, locks on top over the toe. So um, you lose a little bit of his uh, side to side rocking, but you do get the front. You do still keep the um, the forward and back. So let's get that on that side, and then come. On this side, lock that in, lock, lock that in, and as you can see it makes them a little bit taller. And then you take this gun, extend out the barrel, and just put it in his hand, and then uh, also what you can do is then take these I guess they're kind of like night vision goggles of some sort, tactical go goggles, and you can flip those down. So that's a recoiler in all of his his upgraded pieces. So now for a rift shot, you have the two fender pieces, and then you have these two pieces, and then the two uh, missile launchers. So what we'll do is now you're going to take and I forgot which way you have to do it. So to 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 make this into a fist, you're going to take flip these parts up, take this and kind of flip it around like that and then take this and fold it like that. So you can either have it like that, you can have it like that. It it doesn't really matter for I guess this hand cuz I I don't my, my thumb isn't wobbly on this hand. It's it's wobbly on this one. So you're going to spin that pull this up and then take it and go like that. Uh, it kind of, it's kind of wobbly on this but if you go like that it sticks in there really well. So. Alright and then to get those fists attached what you want to do is take these hands rotate it I think it's like that and then you're going to take this hand and then tab it in so you'll tab it here into the fist, and then this part will tab up here on the arm. So there it goes, like that. And that goes into there. Okay, and then for the other hand, go ahead and do the same thing. Rotate out that, that wrist like that. Take see if I can show it a little bit better up closer up here. So you take and have him grab this post and then that tabs into the top part of his arm. Alright and then to convert all of this stuff into a mace you just take these two little tabs put them together like that, like that like that and then I guess if you wanted to you could do it like kind of like that I don't, I don't know but what you want to do to get him to hold it is you want to take the fist there's a little notch right here in the hand take and tab that into there tab that into there and then just wrap around the fingers you can take this and you can go like that, you can go like that. Um, so. And the only problem that I really have with this is that um, these joints aren't loose, it's just that the hammer is so heavy that because it has no ratcheting joints, it does like kind of not want to stay up sometimes. So. 
All right, so there's Rifshot and Recoiler with all of their um, add-on accessories. And as you see, with, uh, with the added fist, he does have articulation at the knuckles, at the knuckles, and the, but not in each individual fist. And it's just hinge right here on the top knuckle, then a hinge right here, and then a hinge right here right before the fingers. So, and then this right here is on a ball joint. This thumb is on a ball joint. Then uh, coming over here, like I showed before, you still get uh, up and down foot movement, but you don't get a side to side. It kind of hinders that with, uh, with the, the power boots, I guess, if you want to call them that. Some people are saying that these guys are supposed to be wreck and ruin. I don't see it. I've seen some fans try to do some, some combinations on their arms, and it just looks like somebody mistransformed something and tried to stick them together. You know, it doesn't look like, like they would have looked in, in their comic book versions. It's, I, like I said, you can add them onto Revolver Core, and um, let me show that for you real quick. All right, and here is Revolver Core all decked out in all the armor with all the weapons to the T, basically. Man. He has uh, the armor plate up here over the, the cockpit, the extra uh, fenders, missile pods, uh, the guns, both his guns, the, the cannon, uh, everything on him. Even has the... Uh, the, like I was showing, like I was telling before, these two pieces underneath here, they actually store underneath uh, on the bottom of the the of the car. So it's he's really ready to go into battle in this uh, with all these upgrade parts. Like I said, they they look good on these guys, but these pieces, you know, these pieces were built for this guy because these oranges and everything they just totally match. I feel like these pieces should have been an add-on kit. They should have come with the cores, and they should have just left it at that, you know. But if I'm going to display this guy, I'm going to display him with all of these pieces on him. Now it feels like I have two robots that are exactly the same thing with a little bit of color changed in, in, in different heads, you know. Let me go ahead and uh, get over to go ahead and transform him and show you what Revolver Core looks like with him in robot mode with all the pieces on him. All right, now here is Revolver Core with all of the upgrade parts. Uh, so he has the boots and the gloves, and then you take and take and combine, combine his his uh, three of his guns together to make this larger gun, this larger assault rifle. And then you take uh, this gun right here and you actually add one of these boxes to the side, which actually makes a like a like a magazine feed or something like that. And you put one up here for missile pods. And then you go back here to the back, and then you put those two extra pipes back here, and then you can put, um, uh, then strap one of the, uh, or tab in one of the guns right here, just for, for storage. Um, unfortunately, the only way to get him to hold the guns in this mode, because if you do remember, he has a, a tab on the inside of his hand right here that holds the, um, the hammer this little hole right here well uh, for the guns the this gun right here has a hole in the uh, in the butt of the gun that actually tabs into this little tab right here and this gun does not have one of those tabs so you can't put this gun actually in his hand you could probably do something to get him to hold it probably will jiggle around and stuff and all that kind of stuff so it actually there's a hole if you look there's a hole in the gun right there in the butt of the gun and it tabs into uh, that little tab that's on the top of his arm but you can see he can't he can't hold up this gun it's you can't even even get him to try he won't do it he'll hold up this arm right here fine but that other arm because it's so loose in that shoulder but he still does look pretty cool like that so but with that I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this review of fans project warbot 05 and 06 recoiler core and rift shot core don't forget to subscribe and follow me on twitter this has been tambiota and i'll see you next time